As writers, we always want to improve on our craft. One way we can do that is through word choice. So word choice can make all the difference, and vivid verbs bring writing to life. So I can go ahead and choose to take a verb that's um, somewhat plain like went, and I can add an adverb to it. Remember, an adverb helps describe how the verb is done. So I could take went and, and change it to went slowly. And that would be okay. I, I can take it one step further though. So instead of choosing an adverb, I can choose to add a more precise verb. So let me show you an example of what that's going to look like. So here's went. Instead of saying, I went somewhere, or I went to the store, I could say, I strolled, I sauntered, I trudged, I dashed, I stormed, I raced, I flew, I meandered, I plowed, I stumbled, and on and on and on. And when I use those words, I help create a picture in my writer's mind. Because if I said I strolled to the store, the writer gets, or the reader, I'm sorry, gets the picture in their mind of someone moving, not at a very fast pace, must not be really important that I get to the store in a very quick, quick way. If I race to the store, perhaps it's because I need medicine for my baby or I've got an emergency of some sort. If I meandered to the store, meander is a very slow walk. Again, I'm not in a big hurry to get there. If I stumbled, maybe there's something the matter with me or maybe there's debris all over the road or whatever it is. But picking these more precise, vivid verbs helps paint a picture in the reader's mind. Let's look at some more examples. So I could talk about um, that something, I ate something, or I could tell you, I devoured, I devoured the pizza. What picture does that put in your mind? I bet I was really, really hungry, or maybe pizza's my favorite thing to eat. I gobbled, again, kind of indicates someone's very hungry. Maybe I don't have very good table manners. I inhaled, ooh, all three of these are really showing that I'm very, very hungry. I nibbled, maybe I'm not quite so hungry now, or I consumed, just a fancier way of saying I ate something. Again, I could take the word look. Instead of look, I peer, I scan, I scope, I eyeball, I peek, I witness. There are more words we could come up with for look. But next time you have the opportunity to put a verb in your writing, rather than just taking that verb, you could go a step further and add an adverb to describe it. Or what about taking time to brainstorm or use a thesaurus to come up with some more vivid verbs to liven up your writing?